So the ones that that whose flowers got taken off, their bulbs have gotten real large for my garden anyways. Uh but the other ones who have flowered, their bulbs are definitely suffering from from making flowers. But there's another I guess I only took the ones off the yellow yellow onions. This onion, this red one, it actually split after I planted it, so it made two onions, but then some slugs came along and they ate one. I was really surprised when that one flowered. I have elephant garlic here too. It's just really hard to see. It's very tiny. There's uh, one, two, Let's see here. This one I accidentally like pulled off his leaves when I was weeding one day. Right here, so maybe I can dig him up for you. And there's one more back there, so I got four. Right here. I think I counted up all the elephant garlic after I'd planted in the spring. I think I got around 15. As opposed to the one from last year. I'm just crazy for those things. Here's another big tomato bush. There's two. I kind of planted them. I got a root ball here, and he goes that way. And a root ball there, and he goes to here. Neither of them have tomatoes yet, and they're the last two plants I planted. Uh, last two tomato plants I planted. Oh, I dug up my potatoes today. The Amanda cut off the eyes from her potatoes and put them in a little bag with some wet paper towel, and it grew awesome roots. They were like three inches long roots when she gave them to me, and their little eyes were growing. Actually, there's this one kind of left this. Right. Previous videos, you may see some. They grew tiny little potatoes. I know it's really sad, but I'm really proud of it because it's the first time I've ever grown potatoes. i got to show those to you. Flower. These are onion flowers. They're bigger than my elephant garlic. I got them from some guy on the side of the road who was I stopped at his garden. This is one of my onion flowers. Kid picked it for me. Those are his. These pots. See these pretty little flowers? It's got bugs on him. Go shoot dirt bug. Yeah. Here's another little flower. Another little speck of dirt. Right? What I think is awesome about these is these are my garlic chives. Gotta love my garlic chives. They're another uh, allium member. Family member. There's these two and these two. So, um, I had a little clump of them growing out in the garden and one day I come out there and they've been chopped like an, half an inch above ground level. It's like, ah! So I, like, like their whole leaves were just laying over next to them. So I, I dug them up, I pulled them out, and each one was kind of was kind of shaped like the ends of my fingers. It had one little smaller side and a bigger tubular side. So I broke them, I broke both of them in half, and so I had four pieces. Put the bigger two in the bigger pot, smaller two in the smaller pot, and they've all grown. And this was about a month ago. Ooh. Yeah, this one's first leaf to come up was this little flower. I was so happy and amazed. Yay, I love alliums. I hope this one will produce some seeds. Haven't been very successful at getting actual seeds from them yet. But yeah. Garlic chives. I hear their flowers are purple. Which is great. <laughs> so, dug down. I found pretty much the whole elephant garlic. It looks like a regular garlic. In fact, these aren't very big. They're about regular elf, regular garlic size. It's not a little smaller. Oh. But it's definitely elephant garlic. Here's one of its little babies. Yay. They grow on, on the sides like that.
Okay. Oh, he's got tiny little things. He's got two of them. They're so itty bitty. Yay. There's some fans running, so it's kind of warm, uh, loud, and hard to hear me. <laughs> Here's my garlic that I've harvested so far this year. I have eaten some. Um, and this one's an elephant garlic. It's got a little baby on him. And he had two more, but I planted them. I took them out of this little hard shell thing. And I'm gonna see if they'll grow. And then this guy is an elephant garlic. He has three little things on him as well. These are my, I've got a lot of, I think they're a purple stripe. This one's got purple stripes, but I think it said Spanish Roja, but maybe maybe I bought a different one and I just am remembering some other tag that was next to it. These I think are second generation like regular white garlic from their their soft necks. I think I got them from one of the guys who lived here had some garlic that went to this. Actually this one's kind of purpley. Hmm. Anyways. Right, some guy had some garlic and I planted it. And, like I think these ones, some of these ones I think are white garlic and soft, stemmy thing, soft neck. Oh, that's so cool. How did that even happen? Is that it's flowering? Oh, it is, okay, so it's a hard neck, wow. You know, I think that right there proves my theory. But I think these are growing even after I've hung them up here. Like like this one. How he's all dented. Oops. But his skin is like getting stretched out. Like his bulbs are expanding. And this totally didn't have this when I harvested him. He's still green in there. Yeah, he's still growing. I don't know how. But he is. It seems pretty cool. Garlic.